<laughs> Hello and welcome back to Project Seawolf. So today we're back on the boat and taking a look at the rudder, seeing if we can get the rudder off. There is still something holding it in from the top, I think, and then there's also the bracket below that I need to knock out. And uh, hopefully we can do that today and I can move on with my life. So I want the rudder off to practice bottom work on it and for a bunch of other reasons. The bracket needs to be completely replaced um, and I'm hopefully gonna replace it with a bronze, a new bronze bracket. Yeah, because as we found out last time, it is pretty messed up down there. Uh, I'm here with my fiance, Sarah. Hi friends. You know her dad because her dad uh, brought this boat up from Seattle with me and yeah, and this is who I see every day pretty much. It's, it's nice to be up here and see all the work that he's been doing on it in person. Uh, and it definitely has had a lot stripped out of it. There's no longer any place to take a nap while you're working. <laughs> True, yeah. I would very much so like to make the V-Birth sleepable again so that I can be on here a lot more often and comfortably. So that'll be a good goal for the summer as well, is to make the whole cabin livable while some big projects are happening up and downstairs. But today is rudder day, one step at a time. So right now I am unscrewing the fittings around the uh, emergency tiller post. So the emergency tiller would go in here and then still allow you to steer the boat in case the helm went out. Well, it's another piece that's off the rudder. Okay, I've gone around and made sure these straps were loose now um, on both sides. And, um, hmm, yeah, that's very loose on this side. So that's good. I guess just see if I can wrestle it <laughs> up and off of the bracket. Not sure yet. Maybe I need to put a car jack down here to lift it up off of that. <laughs> well, I got a car with a jack in it, so maybe. It's coming out. What's going on up here? Ooh, yeah, it has reached its limit up here. But down here, Looks like it's just about to come out. Ah, uh, so close. Let's see, <laughs> can I knock it out now? Can I knock it out of the, uh, knock the bracket out now? Okay. fall off. Just need to look it around. Is it still attached? No, the other side is definitely not still attached. But it has a really broken weld. Yeah, that is so corroded. Yeah, I can't believe they used to glass metal in. Yeah. Okay, that's free now. Yeah. I'm not trying to rob you. Oh. Okay. Let go now. You can let go now. I mean, I don't know why I'm trying to preserve this bracket anyway, because... Ah. You pull on this side and then the other side goes back into its groove. That's why it's not this far. Yeah. Do you want to pull on your side while I pull on this side? Here, I'll just put this here and I'll bend it on the other side. <laughs> okay. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! 
Oh man. Okay, I gotta show the camera this. Okay, the bracket is now off. So these used to be clamped along the bottom of the rudder and the rudder post sat on here. But as you can see, uh, Maybe. it is almost corroded all the way through that bottom part. I'm gonna need to, well, I'm gonna redesign this and uh, I'm gonna rebuild up that fiberglass down there so it's nice and thick. And then I'm gonna make a bronze version of this or have Port Townsend Foundry make a bron cast bronze version of this. And uh, that will allow the rudder to sit on that. Let's get the rest of the rudder off. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to dig a hole for that. What do you, really? Do you think that thing goes up really, really far? It goes all the way up into the cockpit, oh, yeah. Jeez. Well, let's see what we can do, yeah. <laughs> let's see how far, how far down it goes now. Yeah. <laughs> At least. Hopefully I can get it around this chain. Going. Uh, <laughs> no, it's no. by the chain. It's not moving. Oh, it's okay. It's old. So it looks like it does have enough clearance to get past the prop. Mm-hmm. Oh no. There's something up there that still has it attached. Yes, there is. <laughs> no! I think it's the autopilot. I think the autopilot's attached to it somehow. No. I just missed that. Ah, so oh my god. Oh. It's gotta go up the ladder. Prop it back up, try and see where it's locked in, and then <laughs> drop it once I figure that out. It's probably gonna be part of the, um, or near where the stuffing box is, because to keep the, the ocean out of the hole, there is a stuffing box above there inside, and I bet that's where there's some sort of like pin or something to keep the rudder from completely dropping out. Which has been known to happen to people. <laughs> yeah, the fiberglass down here where I took the bracket off uh, needs a lot of help. Uh, <laughs> so, knock that as far back as I need to, and uh, yeah figure out what's going on with that. Okay, I think what is happening is when I drop the rudder down, it is it is stopping on this hose clamp, which is kind of an interesting safety feature if you think about it. Everything else up the prop shaft should be able to slide out. So I think it's just, I think it's just that hose clamp. If there's enough space above the ground to get it out. <laughs> but I doubt there is. Might have to dig a hole. <laughs> Actually, probably going to have to dig a hole. Yeah. Let's try again. So there was a hose clamp above here that was keeping the rudder shaft from being able to slide through somehow, I think. <laughs> Thinking about it, it doesn't really make sense. Ah, uh, it's still locked in there somehow. Or the steering's still attached somehow. Because when I try to rotate it back and forth, I could feel it still catching on the steering mechanism. Mm. So I assume what's keeping the rudder from dropping is the steering quadrant. And, uh, yeah. But these bolts are just such a pain. I thought just removing the key that fit into this slot was going to be enough. But no, I think I'm going to have to take the whole quadrant off. Okay. 
Okay, finally got one of the steering lines off and that has allowed everything to be um, much more accessible. Everything else at least. Yeah, so jeez, that was uh, pretty annoying to get the first one off, but uh, now I should be able to get the other ones off. So these are all uh, lock nuts, so they won't, well, they won't back out as much <laughs> or as often. But it also means I have to use a tool for the whole thing pretty much until it's right on the edge. And uh, there's not enough space for a socket, which is why I'm using an adjustable wrench. Now, so now the steering is free. The steering wheel is free now. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't engage the rudder anywhere. So, and it just slides. So why is the rudder catching still? <laughs> and what is it catching on? I have no idea. Okay. So there was, there was another key system in here where there's like this drill hole here that a bolt went through so that I guess could have kept the rudder from being dropped but uh, now there shouldn't be anything don't think it should just be able to slide through this packing gland Interesting. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so there was a bolt that went into the rudder shaft. Spiders. That is now out, so hopefully everything is able to slide through now. Yeah, it's moving. Um, it's just the chain is in the way. I think. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Can we get past the chain somehow? Uh, brute force. <laughs> Hopefully the rest of your boat doesn't collapse. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's down to the prop now. <laughs> I need to take the prop off. It's just, it's just too, <laughs> just too big. Well, at least it's free. Yeah. So hopefully I can just spray that with WD-40 and just get all right. So it's farther along, but uh, not quite enough yet. If it was higher up, it'd have enough space. Okay, well, there you go. Yeah. Woo! Yeah! Okay. <laughs> uh, but now you're not gonna be able to get it off. Excuse me, I can This is wider than this. I Oh, 
Oh, there we go. I'm around the chain. Okay. You're also going to touch the ground. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. On the ground. So now I just need the ground to not be there. <laughs> Uh, what's easier, to lift the boat up or to take the ground away? Probably take the ground away, I'll say. <laughs> take, take, take the ground away, Probably. I would say. Probably. Yeah. But I don't know how far you need to dig. Like, do you need to dig four feet? Ah, uh, not four feet. That's the whole draft. Um, maybe two. <laughs> oh boy. If it was moving straight down, I'd say yeah, for sure, but because it's moving at an angle towards those blocks, every time you move, every time you drop this, it moves that way. I don't think, I think there's more of this than there is room to get to the blocks. <laughs> so that just might be what you're able to do. I don't know. Well, the rudder is free. I just need to dig out a trench for it, and that'll probably be tomorrow. <laughs> oh my god. Yes! That has got to be one of the most difficult tasks I've done on the boat so far. Oh, I dropped it twice because I got the measurements wrong. Had to use the car jack to get it back up so I could dig out under it a little bit more and man it just barely slid out. I'm so exhausted now. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing this for seven hours or so and my arm is just flabby. Some really big rocks. I'm gonna fill the hole back up with the big rocks and then next time I have to get the rudder back in, maybe, yeah, back in, I'll just take the big, big rocks out, maybe dig down a few more inches, use the car jack to get it up in place and then yeah, keep raising it up from there. Tie a rope around the bottom so it stays and then put the car jack on like a piece of wood and then keep jacking it up until it's all the way in again. Getting the rudder out has been something that I've wanted to do for a long time. And now it's out and um, honestly, I probably should have just cut it because uh, at the shaft because uh, the shaft looks pretty messed up where it was uh, where it was exposed to the water, a lot of corrosion. Um, the rest of it looks pretty good. 
but wow. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to do that today. Well, if you like watching the channel, um, go ahead and to like and subscribe. Um, it helps me out a lot. And then also there's the Patreon if you want to support the channel. I have my lovely patrons up on the screen and they have all received shirts or received a message that I want to send them a shirt and haven't responded. But um, if you would like to get a shirt, I will send you a shirt on the Patreon. Thanks, uh, I'll see you next time. Uh, hopefully we're gonna get to some fiberglass work soon. I wanna make this boat, I wanna make it livable inside so I don't have to like keep driving back and forth every day. Um, and so that's gonna require a lot of uh, internal fiberglass work, a lot of structural fiberglass work. Uh, right now Sailing Uma is rebuilding their boat and it's gonna be a lot of the similar stuff. Uh, so yeah, it's the summer of boat work, like I said it was gonna be. But uh, that was an exciting big step that I've been uh, I've been waiting to do. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.